Today we have a patient with femoroestabular impingement, right hip. It's a pincer type of impingement. So what we are going to do is an all arthroscopic osteochondroplasty with a labral repair and a capsular repair. So we will go to the different stages of the surgery. We have the patient in supine position with both the limbs connected to the traction apparatus and with a well padded big perineal post. This is a CM image. Through the androlateral portal, you pass a cannula inside and remove the stilet of the cannula and you get the air arthrogram. After removing the slit, you pass an internal wire through the cannula and then pass a cannulated stitching stick through the internal wire. And after that, you pass the sheath of the scope and introduce the scope inside. So you can see that uh, it is cloudy inside the joint because you have only one portal that is established. Now you have to establish the other anterior portal. So for that, you repeat the same steps. You first put a cannula inside. You remove the stilet of the cannula and then introduce a uh, nitinol wire inside with the nitinol wire as a guide. You put a cannulated switching stick inside and after that you dilate the uh, portal and then introduce the metal cannulas. So in contrast with the other scopies, we use metal cannulas in hip arthroscopy because you can visualize it with the CM also. So once uh, you have the uh, metal cannula inside, you, have, you are free to introduce any instrument that you want. So this is a most important step in a hip arthroscopy. This uh, instrument is a capsular cutting knife that has come inside. And with this knife, we have to cut the capsule from the andro anterior portal through the and to the androlateral portal. So after cutting it, you can see that the joint is wide open and you can use any instrument inside. You should be very careful not to injure the cartilage or the labrum. Uh, because it uh, the both the sides of this uh, knife is uh, sharp and here uh, i am using a rf to clear the soft tissues outside the joint close to the labrum and the next step is uh, clearing of the soft tissues here and then elevating the labrum from the pincer lesion so the labrum is attached to the lesion pincer lesion you want to uh, clear the pincer means you have to initially elevate the labrum from the pincer lesion. So you can use either use a knife that we used earlier or you can use an elevator, blunt elevator and slowly do it. Be careful that uh, labrum is a very important structure and you should not injure the labrum. You should not uh, uh, cut it into two pieces. So carefully, slowly and steadily use the elevator and you uh, clear the soft tissues and you tap uh, on it and then so that you can elevate it from the bone and you have to have an orientation of where to elevate and how to elevate so uh, you slowly do it and uh, along the pincer lesion you elevate the labrum and then uh, here i am again introducing the knife because i wanted a little bit more exposure of the joint and want to see the joint more clearly now you can see that uh, the labrum is pretty much elevated from the uh, pincer lesion and we can proceed with removing of the lesion. So we need a third portal for completing the procedure. We are using an accessory androlateral portal. We put the cannula and repeat the same procedure as above. So you, you can confirm it uh, with the image intensifier also. And here I am using a Steenman pin to remove the soft tissues that is coming into the field by securing it into the bone. And uh, the next step is the most important one that uh, you use a high, high speed burr to remove the pincer lesion. So you can see that the burr is uh, protected on one side in the labral side so that you don't go into the labrum and you remove the pincer lesion along with some part of the cartilage that is osteochondroplasty should be very careful 
because uh, the normal acetabulum should not be removed, normal cartilage should not be removed and the labrum should be protected. So you can do that by uh, continuously using the image intensifier. You can use the CM images. Burr a little bit, use the CM and check it what has been removed and again burr a little bit and then again check it to the CM images. So finally you can uh, have a feel that you have removed the uh, most prominent part and the relevant area of the pincer lesion and uh, you confirm it with the CM and then you can uh, proceed with the next step. So this is the final CM image. You can see that the pincer lesion has been removed. And once you are satisfied with that, you can move to the next step, that is the labral repair. Here I am using a lasso and I am coming from inside the joint and passing a loop across the labrum. So this is a nitinol wire that has come outside. You take the nitinol wire out and shuttle it with a suture tape. So this is the suture tape coming inside. Here I have taken it uh, from inside out, so that is from inside the joint to outside. You can go the reverse also, but uh, there is a chance, if you err, there is a chance for uh, damaging the cartilage of the joint. And now I have taken the two loops of the suture tape through one portal and this is passing the pilot hole for the knotless anchor. So the peak knotless anchor has come in and you tap, tap, tap. It is going inside. And along with that, the labrum is getting tight. So once you get a good hold of it, you stop it and remove the instrument. Check for the labrum, whether it is reasonably fitting and tight. And you use a suture cutter to remove the extra suture material. So now we can see that uh, one suture is in place and the labrum is getting anchored. This is a, a, a suture lasso, a lasso coming inside for the uh, second suture. So again from inside out and uh, the nitinol wire is coming outside. All the steps are being repeated. You take the nitinol wire, pass the suture tape and then again drill the pilot hole for the peak knotless anchor and anchor, uh, take the, both the limbs through one portal, both the limbs of the suture tape to one portal and pass the peak suture anchor inside and secure it to the bone. After securing it into the bone, you cut off the extra suture material that is available. And you check for the uh, tightness of the labrum and if you are satisfied with it, you can leave it alone with the two sutures that has been passed or if you want uh, more if you see that the labrum is lax you can use one more or two more sutures like this so the, our uh, second part of the surgery is over that is uh, first part was osteochondroplasty second part is suturing and securing the labrum that is over and coming to the third part now we have the capsule and a big rent in the capsule that we have made so one of the complications of this surgery is that uh, there can be a short, uh, hip joint subluxation. So you should not leave the uh, capsule as such. Uh, I am bringing again the lasso inside. And this, uh, what you see is the capsule that you have uh, cut. So I am passing the lasso through the one side of the capsule. 
and uh, trying to slowly pierce it yes i have come outside now the internal wire will come outside through the lasso yes it is coming and i have already kept the instrument inside to catch hold of the nitinol wire you take the nitinol wire outside and then using the lasso we take the next bite on the other side of the capsule so you push the tip of the uh, lasso outside again the nitinol wire is coming outside you take it out and shuttle it with a suture tape so you can see the suture tape is coming inside you remove the lasso and you will get a good suture across the capsule and the next step will be uh, knotting procedure you put knots and then close the capsule you can put uh, two or three sutures like this and then uh, the rent in the capsule will be closed completely so here you can see that uh, the knots are coming in the knot there is a knot pusher the capsule is closing and this uh, suturing will be repeated two or three times we reduce the traction completely given to the affected limb and then put the knots and uh, with this we come to the end of the procedure this is a post-operative x-ray you can see that the pincer lesion is completely taken from the right side and that's all for today and uh, goodbye and take care